Hey, what's up? Welcome to my stream. We're gonna be watching the Nintendo Direct today. Um, they announced it yesterday, so um, gonna start the stream early. About we're about uh, what is it? Six minutes away? Seven minutes away from the Nintendo Direct? So, you know, I'm excited for it. And then afterwards, after we watch the Nintendo Direct, um, I'm gonna take a BRB for a little bit. Probably about like 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna set everything up in that time. Metal Gear, and then we'll play some Metal Gear, it'll be fun too. So, some stuff that I'm thinking about for the direct. I mean, I don't really know what I want from the direct, I just kind of want more Animal Crossing stuff, would be good. You like open up with some of the Animal Crossing stuff. That's my that's my only thing that I want. Maybe the new Smash character. I saw some people saying it was gonna be a character. Kind of looks like um I don't know the character's name, but it kind of looks like Re um Ken. I know it's a different character, but it looks like him. But I mean, I also saw something that said it would be Sans from Undertale, and if it's Sans from Undertale, then. Might need a longer BRB. That's all I'm saying. I might need a longer BRB if it's Sans from Undertale. Celebrate. Yes, to celebrate. Celebrate Sans Undertale. All right. Of course, I'm rooting for Steve. It would be awesome if we get Steve in Minecraft. That would be fun. Uh, my audio seems like I'm quiet. But I don't think I am, so I think I'm just being quiet. It's kind of fucking hot outside. So, this might be a kind of weird stream. Because it is currently... Temperature is it? It's 95 degrees outside, and it's going to go up to 96 apparently in the next two hours. Three hours? Two hours. Um, and that fucking sucks, so... It's gonna be hot. Also, if my stream goes down randomly, that's either because the internet reset itself, because it did that yesterday, or because my computer crashed. Because that's still a thing that could possibly happen if it gets too hot. Fortunately, thermal paste only does so much. But, I don't know. I think I might need to dust again. Fucking, it's too hot, man. It's not supposed to... Nothing can function in 90 degrees. Not even my brain. My brain can't function in 90 degree weather. So... we be four minutes out from the direct. It's still not... It's live, but it's like... Not countdown. So I'm just going to switch to it. Preemptively. Let's switch to it. Okay. Oh no, you're seeing behind the curtain. Go in here. Okay, so... I mean, I'm not sure what else I would want. You know... What else would be good? Pokemon Sword and Shield revealing that they actually are going to have the National Decks. That'd be awesome. I don't really care about Pokemon anymore be honest the whole thing with the national decks just kind of triggered some emotions in me and i was like you know what yeah i think i'm okay i i have my pokemon games gens one through four maybe even five and then the sequel to five and beyond that you know what x and y is a fine game never played sun and moon i'm it's just it's there's a time in every person's life where Pokemon grows beyond them. I think that's happening to me. I always will cherish the games that I got, though. We got Diamond and Pearl remakes. Now, that's a different story, but I have really no interest in Sword and Shield or whatever. Apparently we're going to get some information about that. I also have no idea about Luigi's Mansion 3. I think I, think I remember... During the uh, E3 thing, they they revealed that there was like Luigi or whatever. I kind of forgot Luigi's Mansion Two existed. 
Like, do we need a Luigi's Mansion 3 right now? That's all I'm saying. Could have just ported Luigi's Mansion 2 to the Switch or something. I don't know. People really wanted a second Luigi's Mansion for a really long time, and then we got one, and... I don't know. Sort of went into the aether. Metroid Prime 4, another screenshot of that, another PNG photo. Be cool if we got to the previous point in uh, Metroid Prime 4's development cycle where they were ready to show us the logo. That'd be funny. Um, Pikmin stuff, maybe? Pikmin stuff would be cool. Still don't have any Pikmin shit. Switch, I don't think. As always, F Zero Star Fox stuff would be great. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, some new stuff. Like, I'd like to see something new. That's what I want. I want something new that isn't just fucking same shit we've been hearing about for feels like the past year. Well, overall, the only thing I really care about is Animal Crossing and Smash. The only things that I care about at the moment. The only games that affect me at all. Alright, so it's 3 p.m. Where is it, Nintendo? There we go. Here it is. I'm gonna check the audio real quick. Yeah, that's pretty loud. I'm gonna lower that. I'm gonna lower that for myself too, because I can barely hear my own voice. Hey, it's Overwatch. Nerf this! Good. God damn. It's audio mixing. I can't hear myself think. It's either too quiet or deafening. I'm not interested in Overwatch. It's cool that they brought it to the Switch, but... I've never really played it that much. Looks okay. Little... Little low poly. I don't know, is that how normal Overwatch normally works? Looks. Sorry if you can see that audio th thing. Probably annoying. Hey. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Hello, Mr. Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please oh. look forward to it. It's pretty okay, soon. Let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. Is Overwatch free? I don't even know. I feel like it's free. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Hey, Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel. That's right. Where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. Reminds me of Wario Land. Pyramid inside a hotel? Is this Las Vegas? Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, and booby traps. It's for the other boob floors, Boulder. There's a disco floor, what? a pirate themed restaurant. You get the idea. May what the fuck? The usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, is the ending of this game gonna be a, a, a photograph zoom in on Luigi? Party mode, there's a Luigi You're always been here, Mr. Mario. With only one Nintendo Switch system, you always be here. Players can battle it out. No work and all play. Makes Luigi a dull boy. floaties with the Poltergeist G double zero and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. That 3 looks like a candy. Some sort of, like, candy. Of this new free -to -start Kirby game. Oh, shit, a new Kirby? The forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. 
Okay. Calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take up quests in town. That name. And collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. I don't know about that. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. Just had to check. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. All right. Well, it looks okay. Play alone, together on one system. I feel like Kirby is just kind of. Local wireless. When are they gonna make a new Kirby game, like a full online. one? Hey, wouldn't we just get one though? I don't know. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later. Super today. Kirby Clash. Remember, oh, it's releasing it's today. To Free. That's fine. This long-awaited, recently released RPG oh, is shit. getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. That's cool. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through Neat. this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. Uh, interference will not be forgotten as each character advances. Okay, maybe not the voice acting. To switch their class. Uh, the voice acting is a little uh moves and spells. Step into the light or show uh, your dark side when picking your class to change your I should play the series mana mana games. Like Secret of Mana, all that stuff. Range of movement, including jumping and Not not soon though. No. no more RPGs for a while. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. That's cool. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 24th. Next year? Uh, 2020 is like next year. That's crazy. Just what happened to oh. the crew of this doomed ship? Hey, that's cool. The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England with no sign of survivors. That's awesome. The fate of the crew I love this game. Unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the gonna ship kill my bit rate. the mystery of its disappearance and return. Yeah, look at that. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. I'm gonna close my door real quick while this trailer's playing. Exactly what I give you! Explore the ship. Observe the situation. And record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. I always I had this game on my wish list for a while. I don't know, I kind of forgot it existed. It's kind of weird it's coming out now. God, this is destroying my bitrate. Holy shit. I can't even like I this probably looks like oatmeal. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in Jesus. Fall 2019. Like I didn't I was killing the bitrate for the stream. There's a small town out there with From a Nintendo. Big you don't even want to know what that looked like. Look like, excuse me. Never hey, look. Town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. I think, uh. One day. This was leaked, wasn't it? There suddenly appeared I don't remember a this. Giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. Was this, was this already revealed? To be a thing? Ideas. Or is this, is this new? But to win one of these battles. So I remember seeing this name somewhere. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. It's by Game Freak, so that guy looks advantage to gain the advantage. Like um old Pokemon anime character, so use every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Really? Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch. That's kind of interesting. I didn't know that. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. Wait, that's that's uh, for pre-purchase today. It's weird. Fall is coming to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. All right, I think we can finally confirm this guy's getting released in October. Three, if, he gets, if he gets released in October, Banjo and Kazooie. Yes. I see release date confirmed. The release date is today. Wait, what? Okay, never mind. Today's Nintendo Direct will broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie. 
I was gonna say they got leaked then. As a special treat. Hey, that's new though. Immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Oh. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. I don't know if I'm gonna watch that. But first, like I'm just interested in the direct. Oh shit! Is this new stuff? Oh shit. This is new stuff. Super Nintendo. Neo Geo. It's the guy, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's the guy who kind of looks like Ken. Yeah. This, um... What series is this? This is a cool trailer. <laughs> Funny, funny laugh. Okay. Yeah. Come up. Good, Terry. Get Terry. Fatal Fury, yeah. cool as Terry. What kind of name for a character is that? Terry. Okay, whatever. So, Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighter's pass. Can there really be only one left? Okay. This is gonna reveal that there's more DLC characters. Yeah, I know. Happy to confirm the development Called of more it. DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We know that for like a really long time. The fighters pass. We can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The Everybody knew this. It's gonna be like 20 new fighters, some shit. So, what do you think? It's okay. Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For That's now, good. let's continue with some more Nintendo. I mean, somebody's headlines. probably really happy. I don't know. I've never played Fatal Fury though. It's about time to wake Hey, Link's Wednesday, Awakening. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This game looks really good. Next big adventure on Nintendo I like Switch playing Link's Awakening. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. And encounter some oddly familiar faces. Yeah. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. It's Dampe. Chamber dungeon. You can place chambers earned on your adventure. Dampe in your own dungeons. Link's Awakening. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. I remember that. Save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda. Series. I remember amiibos. Way, friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening will launch before you know it. Do you remember Amiibos? The new Link Amiibo when Nintendo will be sold Amiibos. That same day. We're making a new Amiibo? Wow, that's great. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's Dragon Quest. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest 11 S: Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. Didn't this already come out? version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character focused stories. I thought this already came out. The day the game launches, free downloadable oh. content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items and more equipment that can change the uh, I figured they would have released the game before they released the character. Draws near. 
Dragon Quest 11 Are they going to port other Dragon Quest games to the Switch? That'd be good. September 27th. <laughs> Until then, you can prepare hey, free demo. for adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. That's cool. Looking for more Fire Emblem? Hey, goodness? Fire Emblem. Then say hello to Tokyo. What is this? The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. Somebody's coming. The story takes place in yeah. modern day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa. This is, uh, wicked mirages who suck most out of fucking them. Japanese thing I've ever seen. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't I'm just sort of watching this with my mouth agape. Sure check out the other new features from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. I had nothing to say about hey, is this. That Kiki? Something. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore. So didn't didn't they do like a crossover 17. with Persona or something? You can repurchase the game later. Or is this Persona cuz it's Shin Megami Tensei? I don't fucking know. Hey. What it seems. It's a Yakuza? Boston. 2019. Um, oh, it's and Deadly Premonition. Again, Looks like Yakuza. An FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Oh, shit. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. Kind of looked like the lead character from Yakuza in that. Will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. A little bit. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, cool. boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch on Nintendo oh, eShop as Deadly Premonition that's really cool. Origins later today. That's actually really cool. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally hey. coming to Nintendo Switch. I played this Check game a little bit. Skeleton Man. Rip bit rate. It's not even me, it's mostly the actual video. I'm watching this on YouTube as I saw in the beginning of the stream. I'm shitty at capturing footage, but like I'm I'm watching this on 720p 60 FPS. It's just the stream. So you're probably seeing exactly what I'm seeing. So. And now for a message from Bethesda. Oh, good message from Bethesda. Hey, fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software. I'm excited to do Eternal. Really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, oh shit. This year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular Is this Doom 64? Ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games. Fuck yeah. Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will Fuck be yeah. available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons in okay. 30 action-packed levels. Or if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular Fuck shooter yeah. franchises in history. Fucking love Doom 64. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Should release it on a PC, like they did with Turok. That's cool anyways, though. Brand new IP from developer High res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is, is a rumor at best. 
but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against Jackal. Enemies or match up with a similarly skilled team Jackal. online in a variety of objective We're part of the rogue games. company. We got to take down the Jackals. Guns, gadgets or melee weapons. Your playstyle will Should I bump my mic? Of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins. Why wow, does this look like it's like a XCOM style game? Up on but it looked like it was a third person shooter. How's it going? Pretty alright. The new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Uh, time for we disappointment. Have information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Yeah. Let's take a look. Wow me. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the gallery. Hey, look at this one of those cactus. Land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new Pokemon people throughout your adventure. Pokemon. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. No national decks. First, customizing your look. That was once again already the a thing. entry in the series lets you pick okay. your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but that's, a wide variety. That's cool, I guess. Outerwear and gloves. Yeah, like little brands. I like that edition. You, can change you know, it's your not style. amazing, but or put on a little makeup. That's cool. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. I guess that means you can you fully customize your character too, pretty much. Second, Sneak. Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with it's your like Pokemon. It's like Final Fantasy. And as you can <laughs> better, you'll also improve in battle. You're gonna cook, cook a meal with Noctis? Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Prompto. Feel free to bring along one of Dude. your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely so it's like Pokemon and me, with but with player's Pokemon. a bunch of Pokemon. That's neat, I guess. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Yeah, curry I bet it rice. is. How your curry turns out, and it wouldn't be. Ultimately, depends. It wouldn't be based on the uh, United Kingdom you if use. you didn't eat curry. Not to mention the heart you <laughs> put into it. Fucking <laughs> oh, there are fuck. more than 100 types. Oh, I might have some good curry there. Will be registered in your curry decks. The goal to master the art of curry. Find Is that a teapot Pokemon <laughs> doing here? And Is that a ghost? We'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the gallery region. Yeah, that looks that looks funny. Poltegeist. Poltegeist. It makes a home for itself by hotels and restaurants. That's so stupid. Its body is made of tea complete with its own aroma and flavor it may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its teeth uh, this ghost type pokemon also uh, has a special ability called weak armor next another new pokemon called okay. cramorant that this flying and water type pokemon looks weird. has one huge appetite it will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth Neat. when it uses surf or so it's an annoying ass that, seagull watches it rises from the water along with the catch in its mouth if it takes oh. damage in this state it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker this is Kramer's that's exclusive new ability gulp missile gulp missile that's funny that's pikachu that's it's pikachu 12 at this point pokemon i just saw pokemon shield will launch on nintendo switch Little tiny Pi november 18th. <laughs> Saw bong wheezing in the background. Well, how about that? There are still it's two okay. more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure. Still not playing it. So, it's been about it's a funny year though. I like the teapot. Offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety. So this is going to be um. Features. The uh, Super Nintendo games, right? And now we're looking to add in an additional library of games. Yep. It's called Super Nintendo yep. Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games. Kirby's Dream Course is a great game. 
So this is going to be a different service to the NES one? There are some you may not expect. Like In Stunt Race FX. Star Fox? Which will be available to play on another system for the first time. That's cool. You can face off or team up hey, with a Poyo Poyo. By passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even Looks like actual Poyo Poyo. We're probably not going to get that one. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. That's cool. Here are the first Joe and Mac 2, produce. dude. Bring Star Fox 2. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. That's cool. Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. This Joe and Mac 2. Exclusively available to Nintendo Switch online members. So please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? Yeah, of course. To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch so, exclusive So, is this is this going to kill the whole classic thing now? We're just not going to do that anymore. The classic consoles. This Super NES style controller will be. I'm guessing this means that eventually we're going to get Switch Switch N64 classics or whatever. Latest information on its release. I don't know. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Yeah. Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. We're not getting an N64 classic. I mean. Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? Hey, it's Tetris Battle Royale. Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not Invictus? for the fan of you can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Tetris you Maximus. Survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them that's for cool. a variety of custom themes. So it's sweet. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. Your accomplishments. We're tossing in a vast array of new player icons too. Beyond so it's becoming like an actual game now, instead of just well. like a two share demo thing. That's kind of cool. For a two game against each other and the CPU, and get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch That's neat. in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available and it's official. tomorrow. A packaged version including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available. For okay. Mario and hey, Sonic are ready Mario to kick it Sonic. old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of this a This is going to have like a story time, mode, isn't it? more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, funny. gymnastics, <laughs> surfing, <laughs> Luigi gymnastics. There's more where that came from. Is that Waluigi? Is that Waluigi swimming? These 10 retro style events. That's cool. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro. It's kind of weird that they used the Sega graphics. There are new mini games. It's or the old NES graphics for uh, Mario characters, but they don't they don't exactly look game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic. They don't the kind of. They don't. They don't look. Will go for right. They probably should use Super game. Nintendo graphics for the Nintendo characters. That's all I'm saying. The next Damon X Machina demo will be Looks a little weird. Than you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later Mech today. Game. In this prologue, I had a you'll feeling mech through the beginning of the game. This game would be a mech game. Your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. That does not look very of this demo like is the co -op mode for introductory. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local Holy wireless. shit that FPS. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech oh. and honing your skills okay, on then. missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready <laughs> okay. for action September 13th. Okay. 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 Hey! Back for more. 
Is this Jedi Knight? Fuck yeah. That's actually really cool. How are they get Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast? How the fuck? Is this real? Courtesy of Aspire, the full single player experience of Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi How? Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. Why would Disney let this be released? This isn't canon. That's awesome, but that's that's insane that that's happening. Where my journey begins. You are hey. Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. Oh. You have a whole world to explore. I should probably play the Witcher games go. sometime. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Well, that's cool. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then what? transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action packed games. It's literally every game coming to Switch? Like ever? And new features like touch control. What the fuck? <laughs> Coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed, the Rebel Collection. Do you remember? Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online... Undertale 2? It's you coming to the Switch. Player on the go, or rookie ready to forge your legacy. You'll hone your skills, craft and custom... Undertale 5 is coming to the Switch. And team up with other slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. Darkest Dungeon is coming to Switch. Half-Life is coming to Switch. System Shock 1, not the Deluxe Edition, but the real original one, is coming to Switch. Like, holy shit. Excuse me. That's probably actually really loud. Great auto sport. Farming simulator. I wonder if you'll be able to put your tractor inside of the ground in this one. Like, holy shit, how do they get Jedi Outcasts on the Switch? That doesn't even make sense. Why? That's awesome, but it doesn't make any sense. I should play uh, fucking Jedi Outcast. I own that game. Call of Cthulhu? Are you fucking kidding me? Is this game on Epic Store now? Devil May Cry? Which Devil May Cry was that? I wasn't paying attention. I was, uh... Turning down my volume. How's everything going? Pretty good. Up, that Jedi Outcast kind of made it. Oh horizons. shit! We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we well, a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? See, this is the good part. Hey, hello, Tom Nook. So, okay. I want to buy a Switch just for this game. Maybe some other stuff. Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back Dodo Airlines time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. Me. It may be a deserted island. That's how I feel right now. The resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing so, to worry about. Get to build a town from scratch or something? Or? For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook Phone. Nook Phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools That's cool. and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. Is this going to be a survival game? Materials. Like branches. It's got crafting, and now all we need is mining. We can have Minecraft Animal and Crossing, stones. dude. Then we'll head to resident right, services and use the workbench. 
Next. Nicely done. Don't play at night or you'll get shot you by the skeletons. The to Creepers. New materials like this. And with those, you can craft more items. It's cool. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. It's interesting. You can I like I like this. So that the decor oh, you can your style. decorate you outside can too. Enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We Cardboard box. Your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove. You can hide inside of it. Our island cleanup plan. Like I'll be doing. Right? In addition to the usual in-game currency, bells, That's some pretty good music. you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. This game looks really nice. Go fishing. Catch some bugs. Tend to flowers. And pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. Yes, they do. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. That's nice. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up. I don't know if you can like build the house though. Plant it somewhere else to or... change things up in that corner of the island. But you just plant a tree. The scenery a full tree. With the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days. But you just live in like a tent for the whole time. And enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, That's a shooting star. you'll encounter really nice. different creatures to catch, too. Sardine. That's whoever smelt it dealt it. Good. Good joke. Live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together. You literally can mine. Space. Look at that. With a local wireless or internet connection, oh my God. you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Mm. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? Cool. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals. I guess you can animals, build a house. There's and houses. Calling to you from the island. We can't wait. Yeah, for you, you to look at that. The nooking, deserted That's cool. Getaway package. Build your own little town. Deserted island. I think that's cool. So, how did it look? Oh, it's fine. There's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. Alright, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Okay. Please give it a look. Metroid? Or what? Assuming not. What is this? Some sort of fantasy game. Or somebody recognizes it or something. Looks cool. Oh shit, it's Xeno Xenoblade. Alright. That's Shulk. Do you wish to change it? This is the Madado's power. That's Shulk, right? The future. Yeah, here we go. Xenoblade Chronicle Definitive Edition. Well, that's cool. We live in Australia. Welcome to the Outback. Well, it looks really nice. Oh, it looked pretty good. 2020.
Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch. That's 2012? The game is planned oh my god, 2012. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. Jesus Christ. Thank you for Such a long time ago. Alright. Is it just gonna be the same stream? Or... Alright, I don't really want to watch the... It's not really the Nintendo Direct, so I'm not... Okay. Fine, I'll watch it. Damn. Hello, everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I could never leave you, Sakurai. In our showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Depending on how long this goes. You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero Showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. Oh, really? We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit more of your What's this? Nintendo Direct's over? You may remember in the Hero Showcase. Alright, actually, I'm sorry, Sakurai. That's how he looks right now, I'm betraying him. But, this isn't the Nintendo Direct. You wanted to show me how to use Banjo, Kazooie. Should have done it in the Nintendo Direct, damn it. But, anyways. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a BRB. Um, and then we're gonna play some Metal Gear. A little bit, I need to set everything up. So, it's gonna be a little while. I'm thinking maybe like uh, 10 minutes or something. 10 minutes is probably a good estimate. So in 10 minutes I'm going to come back and I'm going to play some Metal Gear. So for now, a BRB. So thank you for um, watching the direct with me. I'll be right back. <laughs> 